Being on live TV is stressful enough, but you definitely don't want to do it without your clothes. Unfortunately, there's been a few WWE stars who've had to do just that. Let's see which wrestlers were the unfortunate ones and how they handled it. At the beginning of 2015, Paige began feuding with the Bella Twins. To get under the anti-diva skin, Nikki and Bree stole Paige's clothes right before she had to compete in a match. Thinking on her feet, Paige frantically looked for an alternative attire to wear. Just then, Paige noticed the Rosebuds dancing nearby and pulled one of them into her locker room. One transfer of clothes later, and Paige was ready to go. While the dress may not have looked threatening, Paige still brought her A-game and forced Summer Rae to tap out for the win. Let's turn the clock back eight years to 2007. While Melina was showering backstage, Hornswoggle snuck in to surprise her. Once she noticed the visitor, the paparazzi princess ran away with Hornswoggle giving chase. They ran all around the building until the King of Small Style stole Melina's towel, but it doesn't end there. The next week, Hornswoggle showed up again during Melina's match and caused her to lose. Furious with the Leprechaun's actions, Melina chased Hornswoggle under the ring. After a few seconds, Hornswoggle re-emerged with the diva's top in his hands. After showing it off to the fans, Hornsquall went back under the ring, and this time came out with Melina's pants. Concealing herself with the ring apron, Melina shouted at Hornsquall to return her ring gear, but he refused. The illegitimate son of Vince McMahon took his new possessions backstage, where William Regal scolded him, and also did this. It's not just the women that have had their clothes stolen in WWE. Chris Jericho and Christian had the unfortunate adventure of trying to find their clothes in 2002. The night began with the duo retaining their WWE Tight Team Championship against the Dudley Boys. Of course, they cheated to win, so Bubba and Devon wanted some revenge. After the match, Jericho and Christian got into the shower, but when they went to change into their clothes, their bags were nowhere to be seen. Devon then appeared, revealing himself and Bubba to be the culprits. Covered in white towels, the two Canadians journeyed around the arena, looking for something to wear. They eventually caught up with the Dudleys, who had gotten into the ring, but by then, it was too late. Bubba and Devon threw the Tag Team Champions bags into the crowds, leaving Jericho and Christian with just their towels, but even those were taken from them. Spike Dudley walked up behind the two and ripped away their towels, leaving both men completely exposed. 2002 was just the year for stealing clothes in the WWE, apparently. In April, Brock Lesnar and the Hardy Boys started feuding with each other. To make it personal, Paul Heyman stole Lita's luggage. Later, while Matt and Jeff were having a match, Heyman appeared and started pawing through Lita's clothes and throwing them into the crowd. As soon as the contest was over, Matt Hardy, who was dating Lita, charged straight for Paul Heyman. Of course, the former owner of ECW had a plan, and it came in the form of Brock Lesnar. Matt put up a good fight, but the Beast Incarnate was too much. The future WWE Champion concluded his attack by performing a devastating F5 on the stage, with Lita's clothes scattered across it. Which moment did you think was the wildest? Leave your answer in the comments, and allow me to suggest the video to the right for your next viewing pleasure. In it, I talk about the times when celebrities jump the barricade and attack wrestlers. With that, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.